I want to talk about a common problem that some people have had when they're using the gallery with Elementor Pro. So what happens is they go in, add in a gallery, they go and drop in loads of images and the images are either cut off or they're staggering over onto another row. Now I know you're going to say, yeah, we know how to sort this out. You just go and set it to be masonry or justified. Here's the slight problem though. If you go and hit masonry, you are still going to get this staggered effect. And it now looks a lot worse in my opinion, because you just got this long image there. And if you were to go with justified, it will kind of work, but again, we get this old image, old image, orphaned image staggering over onto another row. And I want everything to be very geometric. Well, how can you get around that? Well, if you're on the masonry, you are very, very limited. You could start to mess around with how many columns you got, but you're still going to get the problem with the staggered effect. And you are very, very limited as to what you can do. You might think, well, what if I was to go to the custom and go and set the height to be a certain height? So let's just go and put it as... Uh, 100 like that. It doesn't really do much. In fact, let me just get rid of that there. It doesn't do much, right? You get some consistency, but it's not really applying it correctly, is it? Look, that's not 100 in height. So what was the point of it? You want to do is go and use the justified. And I've already said to you, using justified still doesn't solve the problem. But that's because you need to take account of the row height. What you need to do is either decrease or increase it to get to where you want. So if I was to decrease this, it's going to go there, but we still have a staggered effect. I'm actually going to increase and go to about to 168. Now, if you are not controlling the width of your container, this could get a bit messy. So make sure you're using a boxed width or make sure you know what the size is of your container or wherever you're using it. So what we now have is a full on geometric. Now, if you're worried about how's that going to look on the different breakpoints, you don't have to worry too much. And the same with the mobile as well. However, if you did find that the mobile needed it to be bigger or smaller, well, you are now able to apply it differently to whatever the size is. But we're just going to pop that back to 168. So if I now just show you again, this is what it looks like on the desktop. If we had gone for the grid, it would have looked like that, completely cut off and ugly. If we'd gone for the masonry, well, you still get the staggered effect. So if you really want to kind of see, and by the way, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, all of these images are different sizes. That's a very tall image. It looks small there, but it's a proper big, tall image. That's a small image, small, you know, various size images that we've got. Like, like here, we've got an image, which is three uh, going along there. So. This is a great way of showing different sized images, especially if you're a photographer and you want to keep that geometric look higher. I'm Imran, Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that stack.